So he comes down where he's not good his boots. There you are. I've been here for hours. Ada hasn't shown up. No one has. I don't like this. I don't like this? <laughs> That's right up there with what could possibly go wrong. That's the wench we're looking for. Gut her. Hiding in the Chantry and sending thugs to finish me off? Coward. He'll not get away with this. Come on. Isabella, should have known you'd find me here. Tell your men to burn the letters next time. Castillon was heartbroken when he heard about the shipwreck. You should have let him know you survived. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> Where's the relic? I lost it. Castillon's just going to have to do without. Lost it? Just like you lost a ship full of valuable cargo? They weren't cargo, Hader. They were people. Those slaves were worth a hundred sovereigns a head. And you let them scurry off into the wilds. And now the relic's gone, too. Castillon won't be happy to hear that. I promise you. Will someone explain what's going on? Isabella's been a very bad girl. Ruined a perfect business deal, and then ran away. She didn't tell you. I told him enough. Somehow I doubt it. I said I arranged for a duel, which I did. I also said you wouldn't play fair, which you didn't. We can talk later if you want. Right now we have other problems. Castillon isn't a very happy person, is he? Maybe he needs a new hobby. There's only one way to settle this.
Stab first, ask questions later. Trust me, it's better this way. Castillon won't hear about me from Hader, but he'll find me eventually. I just have to get him the relic. It's simple as that. What's so interesting about the relic? I don't really know what it is, except that it's ancient and worth my weight in gold. Castillon has me chasing it down as payback for freeing his slaves. <sighs> to be honest, I think he just wants me dead. But that would be letting me off easy. You hired Lucky to track down information on the relic? That's right. He insisted he knew everything that was going on in Kirkwall. He lied. <laughs> I bet he doesn't even know everything going on in his pants. Did you end up in Kirkwall because your ship was destroyed? There was a storm. The ship ran aground on the reefs near the city. I managed to make it to shore. Most of my men weren't as lucky. Poor sods. I knew some of those men almost ten years. Ah, oh, balls. Who is Castillon? He's a powerful merchant based in Antiva. I believe he has ties to the Felicissima Armada. I used to work for him. The jobs mostly involved smuggling lyrium, jewels, or the occasional criminal acquaintance. He paid well. What's this about you freeing slaves? I was asked to escort Castillon's cargo ship. I got a bad feeling about the job partway through. Boarded the ship to find slaves. Nearly 200. Elves, humans, children even. It was sickening. They paid Castillon to take them away from the Blight. He took their money and sold them into slavery. Even I know that's wrong. Didn't expect that, did you, guardsmen? If getting the relic gets Castillon off your back, then I'll help you retrieve it. I still don't know where it is, but you'll be the first to know if I hear anything. Anyway, thanks for helping me out with Hader. I think I'll tag along for a while. There might be something I could do for you. And I have a room at the Hanged Man if you're looking for company later. What am I, your servant? There's a letter for you. Are you on the desk?
Idiot thugs and their gangs. Always around at night, but there's good coin in getting rid of them. Breath, you get more letters than I do. There's another one on the desk. Show their goodwill. Here, miss. Word is you're looking for help. And paying well. I need someone native to the dark places beneath Lowtown. If you claim as much, yes, I will pay. I am, I am. Let's just step into this alley and me and my fellows can have a look at the money on offer. Can you get this deep into Lowtown and be that stupid? It's action if we want it. Always money in saving fools. for your timely intervention. I am out of my element. Surely you didn't realize that just now. I had to come here to get the type of person I need. Someone of bloody skill, but also integrity. Perhaps the kind who might leap to someone's defense. I have a charge who needs passage from the city. If you are willing and capable, meet me at my safe house nearby. You make a lot of assumptions. 
It almost got you killed already. All the more reason to end this quickly. You must need coin. Everyone here does. Varnell! Not so helpless, I see. I hope you will come. This matter only grows more urgent with time. Nice to see you too. I thank you for coming. This matter is delicate, and I need someone of limited notoriety who will not link this to me. It is an escort, but I think you will agree the nature of the party makes this unique. Time is wasting. Who is going where? My name is Sister Patrice. I have assumed a burden of charity. This is my charge. Shiva Da? Would even a Templar bind a mage like this? A survivor of infighting with their Talvashoth outcasts? I call him Katojin, a bridge between worlds. The Viscount and others feel that peace begins with appeasement. This mage would likely be returned to his brutal kin. He can serve a better purpose. I want him free. He must be guided from the city without alerting his people. ...or being seen in my care. If you're so intent on this, why not use Chantry resources? My order will soon realize the Kanari presence is more than a test of faith. It is an open challenge. But for now, I must act on my own. Helping this mage shows how Kunari heresy cannot be ignored. His flight is vital. Is freedom so helpful? A new life with that collar seems doubtful. And yet it is more than he has. My reach is limited. His struggle is his own. It just seems like releasing a bird, cage and all. We do what we can to step toward what is right. That must be enough. You're not interested in who you might be hiring? If you were important enough to know, I would need someone else. But if you insist... What is your family name? My name is Hawk. Strong. Very Ferelden. The Canari have hardly pressured the southern nations. You have not seen as many converts or those who refused. If this action, if any action, can lessen their influence, it must be done. Will he help? If I trust him at all? I don't know his capabilities or if he can function at all in that collar. But I think he knows we are his only way out. You think? He's followed every direction and made no aggressive moves, even when taunted. Were I in his place, I could have fled. Kunari or not, I can only assume he wants to be led to freedom. And if you're wrong, I have to deal with it. That is why I went to Lowtown. You are either capable of the discretion and skill that I need, or you are not. You don't just stumble on something, someone like this. For all their blasphemous certainty, the Kunari do have deserters. Those who seek freedom are hunted mercilessly. Talvashoth, they seem to accept the role. Even their rebels conform. Servonel observed one of their bloody exchanges. This poor mage was the only survivor. And you think this mage was being hunted? I am certain no thinking creature would willingly submit to this. If he was not running before, he has seized the opportunity now. I've had dealings with the Kunari leader. He'd want to know of this. You have dealt with their leader. If you have interacted with Kunari, you know how they treat those who leave their heathen order. The Arashok would doom this poor creature. But knowing them is useful. If they challenged you, attacking an ally would only confirm their barbarism. You are still right for the task. I can get him out of Kirkwall. 
He's a bit conspicuous for the streets, though. Why would they do this to him? That is obviously not an option. You must avoid incident with the guards. I cannot be linked to this. This mage will be a fine example of how cruel Kunari are, even to their own. But only if this plays out just so. The passage here leads to the warrens of the Undercity. It is dangerous, but that is why you were hired. Good luck. Dropping the deep dark with a horn skull mage. Another cool thing. He's not very helpful, is he? Ah, look at this. Undercity's feared by all, but there's no shortage of fools with coin who want to test it. What is this thing? Collared like a dog lord's bitch. He's some sort of canary lover. Maybe I should get rid of you and see who'll pay the most for your pet. <laughs> uh, I don't think it likes you threatening its master. Maybe we let this one pass. A voice of reason. What's he doing with you? You lot think you're so damn right. Buying everything, running free marches like me into our own sewers. 
You want us bound, like this thing. I'll see you dead first. By the void! Kill it! Kill them all! They get the idea, Kunari, Ketogen, whatever. Calm yourself! <laughs> Did you react because your lead was threatened? <laughs> How much of this is just blind instinct, I wonder? <laughs> You can't gesture or, or stomp your feet twice for yes or something. I bet all he wants is to go chasing after thrown sticks. And someone to rub his belly. You did what I said. Did I hit the right phrase or something? Right. Could have expected that answer. Keep control, and remember who is on your side. <laughs> of course. I expected no different. You will hold Basra Vashidan. I am Arvarad, and I claim possession of Sarabas at your heel. The members of his Karatom were killed by Talvashov, but their disposal leads only here, to Sarabas and you. I just got here, coming from the other way. If there was a trail, I didn't leave it. Yet you are here with Sarabas. The crime is his freedom, his leash held by unknowing Basra. We will not allow that danger to continue. Let your own mages doom you. Sarabas will be properly confined. And if he doesn't want to go back? Sarabas, show that your will remains bound to the Kune. <laughs> he has only followed you because he wants to be led. He has allowed no other purpose. The sister called him Ketojan. You are Sarabas? Sarabas is his role and his name, as you understand it. It is the accusation and acknowledgement of being a mage. And you are Avarad? My role is to hold the leash and hunt the Grey Ones who leave the Kune. Or Baz who have not yet been enlightened. You don't care that someone abused your dead to get you here? No doubt they were cast from your shoulders as you or your partner thieves grew weak. It is a crime whose victims are beyond caring. It will be dealt with, but the greater threat is clear. It is my role to secure Sarabas. It is the role of another to purge the perversions of your kind. 
He is bound and abused, and you want him caged. Why? The power that he has, that all Cerebos have, draws from chaos and demons. They can never be in control. So you fear them? Just like everyone. We leash Cerebos because they are dangerous and contagious. Not even your Templars fully grasp that threat. I find it hard to believe that Merrill could be so threatening. Thank you, Hawk. There's no need for such fear. You are Sarah Bas? Bas Sarah Bas? Bashedan! Neira Setar Karasam! You spewed your words at me like a demon trying to poison my control. Like this mage, the cube requires your death. But we're no threat to each other. Bas Sarah Bas, you will be no threat to anyone. <laughs> Can you stand? I am unbound, odd, wrong, but you deserve honor. You are now Basvarad, worthy of following. I thank your intent, even if it was wrong. I know the will of our Varad. I must return as it demanded. It is the wisdom of the Kune. So after all of this, now you want to die? I do not want to die. I want to live by the Cune. Which means dying. Yes. Is that hard to grasp? Arvarad couldn't kill me. Perhaps he was wrong about your death, too. Losing to you does not make him wrong. He spoke the Kune. I have chosen. It is bred in the bone. Existing is not a choice. It is the only choice. As it tal ebb, it is to be. Patrice might take you back, if death is the only other option. The sister was not honest. What do you mean? I cannot say what she wanted, but it was certainty, not of the Kune. And her guard smelled of death. Others of your kind live outside the Kune. You could join them. They are not my kind. I am Kinari. They are not. They have chosen to be free. Free? They have refused what they are. I can't choose to not be. Could you have returned if I'd let these others live? No. You were doomed from the start. I was outside my Keratom. I may be corrupted. I cannot know. 
How I return is my choice. It must be. But that does not mean there is no meaning. I can't let this decision stand. If you force choice, it is not choice. Your doubt does not make me wrong. Certainty is comfort. That is the way of the Kunari. The way of the Kun. Take this secret thing, Basfarad. Remember this day. not right it wasn't was it she may not have known about this but clearly patrice set a trail right to us she sent us on an errand only to lead them to us why 